Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing very, very well. We're just going to chat today. I have some reminders for you guys as well as for me. I honestly probably need them more, but I have some things that I'm thinking about that I wanted to share. So we'll begin. The first thing is a little reminder that life is not about sticking it out. The asterisk next to that is like, yeah, certain things. You're going to have some obligations in life, certain financial obligations, going to school, K through 12, like whatever. But there's so many things that I feel like we tell ourselves or obligations or things that we like must complete, must get through. And that's just not always the case. Sometimes all it means if you're unhappy in a situation is that it's just not the right situation for you. This could be pertaining to relationships, friendships, jobs, moving to a new city, going to a certain school like all of these things i feel like once you're in them it seems impossible to leave you have this idea of this like i think it's called the sunk cost fallacy where basically you're thinking about all the time or money or whatever that you invested into this situation this relationship this friendship this job but like when it comes down to it you are so allowed to leave and that doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you it doesn't mean you failed it doesn't mean you're flawed like it literally just means it wasn't the right situation for you and that's okay. It sometimes feels like it's the end of the world. I promise you, it's not. Give yourself some grace. Speaking of giving yourself grace, a reminder to treat yourself like somebody you love. I literally have a giant poster of it in my room and I just cannot seem to remember it because I have such a hard time being kind to myself. I don't know what it is, but like the way I speak to myself is so vastly different than the way that I speak to people in my life that I love. And it's fucked up and I'm working on it. I really, really am because I think it's so important and like giving yourself grace to like make mistakes, fuck up, whatever, like is so vitally important. The same exact thing would happen to me and would happen to my friend. And it's just like completely different reactions. And I think that's evil. And I think I'm doing myself a disservice by being unkind to myself. So we're working on it. Another reminder that wherever you are in life, you are doing really well. You are. And I think sometimes social media linkedin universities like they're pushing this idea that like you're not in a good position you're not successful enough you're not productive enough you're not disciplined enough like oh my god shut up you're doing just fine honestly don't stress out about stuff i feel like everyone goes at their own pace and like life is not about meeting goals or having discipline things like that i don't know i just think there's so much more to life than that those things can be important but also like i swear social media is so fucking annoying when it comes to like the toxic productivity mindset and like getting up at 7 a.m and running 8,000 miles and then like trading bitcoin whatever bullshit like just you're doing great and like honestly big win for me just getting through the day having a solid day is like great in my book so don't worry about it and don't let social media make you feel like you're behind because i promise you you're not On my way back from the library, I stopped and got some more groceries, mostly produce. I tend to do like a bigger grocery haul every like two weeks and then I'll do like a mini one every week. Total was $12. One head of broccoli, potato, baby carrots, frozen green beans. I feel like it's one of those things if I buy it fresh, I'm never gonna use it. But like if I just need a little greens in my meal, I can just warm these up or like throw them in a pan or something. One zucchini and four tomatoes. This is snack number one. Also, big news for me, I have more or less healed my relationship with rest, which is big news because I used to give myself zero rest. When I was studying abroad in London, when I was going to school in Boston, I would not give myself a moment to rest because I would think I was missing out on something. And so I'd like push myself to like walk a million miles, always be out of my apartment, whatever. And it was like exhausting and super unhealthy. But I've gotten to a point where Saturday, just lying on the couch, no freaking problem. Like I'm not missing out on anything. The city's still there. It'll be there tomorrow. There's no reason to like push myself to do all these things. And it's really great, honestly. I also under that note that I made, I said always French toast, which... I think just means that anytime I go out to a restaurant, I will order French toast. Oh, but I did yesterday. I went out to breakfast with my friends and I got this cannoli French toast, huge French toast, like big slabs. And there was like a berry compote and like the cannoli cream crushed up cannoli shells. I didn't really need those. That was kind of unnecessary. And then whipped cream. Oh, it was wild. It was so good. And yeah, so French toast always. That's my 
mindset. I will say, since moving to my new city, I've consumed a lot of French toast, and I feel like that's a good omen, like setting myself up for success. When I was in Boston, I really think I had French toast like once or twice, and I think that there's some sort of correlation there of like happiness scale. So that's what I've been thinking about for a while, actually. All right, well, I think that's it. I think I'm out of time. So I love you guys, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And that's it. Okay, the end.